Hello friends, uh, I was going through the UiPath forum on lookup data table and there is one of the interesting scenario which I found um, and, and the solution you know there is no solution till now given and uh, you know I tried if that is really possible or not okay so let's read what is the question the question is hi all I have a scenario that in Excel I should set the color in cell which will be dynamically for example uh, verified should be in green color and not verified should in red color by using lookup table so what he is trying to basically ask is for example let me show you the excel file okay so here is the employee id employee name phone number location it department and there is something called uh, background uh, verification status right now let's say somebody's background verification is already done and this is yes right if it is yes the status should automatically convert itself to green if it is no that should stay red so how do you achieve that okay how will you uh, achieve that so let me go back to the UiPath forum so there are a couple of answers uh, lookup data table activity is not is inside table what value you wanted to look in which column uh, so the lookup table would very you know take up that data whatever you are looking using the lookup table this will result in what is in cell value or row of the found value you cannot try to color using this activity logically he is right okay but um, we we will not stop there right we have to find a way so i have done that let me run this demo and i will show you so you can see that the status code is not you know you will see for for any employee with for whom the background verification is done that will turn into green and for anyone it is not done it should say red so let me run this and show you okay so i'm just going to close this and i have created a workflow i think this will help the person who asked it till now he doesn't have an answer so let's see that let me run it okay execution completed let me open the file there you go you can see that you know it has done the color code the question is now how you have done it hello friends myself Rakesh um, I am a UiPath solution architect I upload UiPath training videos daily uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more interesting topics like this so let's see so let me go back to your path so I'm not going to redesign everything I'm going to explain it over over this okay so the very first thing what I've done is read range so I am pointing out which file so it is there inside my documents okay and sheet one the data is in sheet one all right so let me clear the result okay so data is in sheet one all right and then I want to read the entire range so that is a read range activity which you are aware all right so the output is getting stored in a data type called dt1 very simple okay now what I am doing I am using a for each row so the for each row is going to read the entire data table one by one so dt1 is the data table and is going to read it so what I am doing here I used the assign activity and row one dot two string so what is row one dot two string is nothing but this is zero index this is one index so row one is all the values okay one by one it is going to read the values from this index one okay so Deepak, Rakesh, Ramesh, John so all these names will appear so when I go back and I am assigning a variable called name equals to row one dot two string that means all the names will upload into the name variable one by one so as the for each row will run one by one so the very first value which will come is Deepak okay and then next value Rakesh and so on all right we understood that now I am using lookup data table in the lookup data table I am using the data table dt1 lookup value is name lookup value is Deepak right so the, the first uh, employee name is Deepak Kumar so Deepak Kumar should be the lookup value and what I want to look lookup 
column so which column it should look is one right so the name uh, deepak is there in zero one so that i've clearly explained in previous video lookup data table in case you want to see that okay how to use the lookup data table so i'm not going to spend much time on this but still you can get it so lookup column i have mentioned one so it is going to find out uh, let's say deepak is coming so where is deepak in one it will find out and once it finds out uh, what the value associated with deepak that is column index 5 that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so where is deepak what is the 5 value it is yes what is for rakesh the background value status no right so it is going to pull this particular value that is row 5 so whatever value is coming that is going to upload into the variable called output so if you put a message box here if you want to experiment it is going to show you you know for deepak yes rakesh no yes no so these are the values which is going to appear in the output variable so you understood that okay so the out uh, what we are deriving is the output variable and that would contain the values yes no yes no and all that okay so whatever the value is coming i am going to write that into the cell so again i am choosing the excel file okay and here there is a small trick i have used okay so write range so what it is going to do is g because uh, there has to be a counter uh, because it has to write one by one right first on the top then second then third then fourth. it has to move for it to move i am using a counter value and the counter value what i have given is the initial value is 2 because it has to write here that is g2 it has to write in this one then it should g3 then g4 then g5 so what i'm basically doing whatever value is here i supposed to write it over here okay that is the same you know that is what i'm trying to achieve it here so in the right cell if you see it very carefully i am writing in the same excel file writing in sheet 1 and i am writing in g plus counter so this counter value to start with it will have 2 so it is writing in g2 then below that you can see i am using a counter plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 will become 3 so next time when the loop runs it will write in g3 next time when it runs it will write in g4 okay this is a looping concept which you should be aware okay now it it is just writing it okay so now there is a trick so how am i changing the color okay so, so there is a trick so this there is no activity in ui path for the moment to change the cell color okay but um, uh, if your client has some requirement you cannot deny okay ui path doesn't have that feature you have to achieve it some way right uh, so how do you achieve that so that is what the trick i'm going to do so what is what exactly the this one is doing this is going to write the value uh, of this one into here so it is writing so here there's a small trick you have to do okay go to conditional formatting and here select highlight cell rules and go with text data contains okay i have already created that let me show you i'm going to click on manage rules so here I have created it. You can from here also you can create new rule and then select this and do it. So let me show you what I have done. So let me edit this. So I have selected this second one. Here you have a drop down. Select specific text containing yes. If it contains yes, because our UI path is going to write yes, then it is going to write no, yes, no. Okay. So when it contains yes, what you should do? Now in the formatting, what I am going to do? Fill green color okay there is another trick because i don't want to show that yes no and everything as a text so what you do come to font here the text color also you select the same color so that means the font whatever it's writing it will stay in the background and nobody can see it okay and the same thing i have done it for the next rule if you see the next rule is for no so right now specific text containing no then you format that to red the text should be also be red and the filling color also should be red okay this is what i have done this is again a simple excel uh, formatting anybody who knows excel uh, conditional formatting this can be achieved so i have already put a formula in all these cells so for example if i am writing yes you see it will change into green right so the same thing will happen when ui path is writing so let me close this and run this once again and you will see So this is a you know way to achieve 
what is required by your clients okay so it has completed now if you go back here whatever you wanted has appeared over here okay this is how you will be doing this activity guys thank you for watching this um, you know please do subscribe to our channel please do comment we will you know we uh, explore the ui path forum questions which has not been answered yet or that is a little tricky to achieve something those are the concepts we will cover in our channel thank you so much guys have a wonderful day